person first language. I want to tell you the story about Bonnie St. John. She was born in Detroit and raised in San Diego in a single parent home. She also was born with a condition that caused one leg to be shorter than the other and to best help her succeed in the future, doctors advised amputating that leg. This picture of her is a, when she's about five years old and it is the first time that she wore matching shoes because it's the first time she was wearing her prosthetic leg. She's not the, the person you would think of who would become a Olympic medalist if you just knew those facts about her, especially a medalist in downhill skiing. But when she was in high school, a friend of hers looked at her and looked beyond her disability and invited her to go skiing. After she started, she never quit and changed her life to become an Olympic medalist. Here's a quotation about her time in the Olympics. I was ahead in the slalom, but in the second run everyone fell on a dangerous spot. I was beaten by a woman that got up faster than I did. I learned that people fall down, winners get up, and gold medal winners just get up faster. This is the kind of attitude Bonnie St. John has taken through all of her life to become a successful woman who even worked for a while in the White House. How can we support the next Bonnie St. John's? When a person with a disability was looking for advice from Bonnie St. John, Bonnie said, don't try to be normal, aim higher. That's the kind of inspiration we need to give our students. We also need to use person first language and we need to be an upstander. When we see that, that things are happening that we don't approve of, we need to stand up and write what is wrong. How can you make your language person first? Instead of saying a disabled person, say a person with a disability. Put the person literally first in the sentence. Instead of a wheelchair bound person, say a person who uses a wheelchair. Instead of an autistic person, say a person with autism. Instead of a blind person, say a person who is blind or a person who is visually impaired. Instead of a person, a Down syndrome person, say a person who has Down syndrome. Instead of a victim of cerebral palsy, say a person diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Destroy the limits. Students tend to conform to the expectations we put on them. What expectations are you communicating to your students?